Hello, this is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to this rather special episode, actually, considering this is our one-year anniversary. That's right, we have been going for precisely one year. This channel was started on the 11th of December 2015, and today is the 11th of December 2016. And we have progressed really quite impressively, actually. Um, I must admit, when I first started the channel, I was very unsure with how it was going to go. I was kind of hoping to hit around a thousand subscribers or so one year in and at the time of posting this we are currently at 1381 subscribers which is phenomenal so we are 381 subs further than we are so that's 31 percent more <laughs> something like that if my maths is correct and i'm really quite blown away about that so thank you guys first of all thank you so much for your support and i mean that really really earnestly like you guys are amazing this channel would not be where it is now, first of all, obviously, because you wouldn't be subscribed. But also, just like in the comments and things like that, most comment sections on YouTube are unbelievably toxic. And that is just not the case here. And yeah, thank you. So, I wanted to do something a little bit special for this special <laughs> episode. So basically what we are going to do is we're going to go back through our catalogue for the last year. We're going to look back all the way at the very very beginning with the first uh, video that I ever did which was a um, custom nation game of EU4 when we had basically no subscribers and then suddenly it exploded with a, uh, a certain series which is really when this channel started to take off. So let's have a uh, recap shall we? Hello, my name is Mordred and I'd like to welcome you to my very first Let's Play. For this I've chosen to play European of Asalis 4, for which a new expansion, Cossacks, was just released. I can still hardly believe just how different I sounded back then. Um, I mean, part of it was I hadn't got my microphone working correctly, the thing you can see here, sorry if I'm banging it, um, because I was actually recording sound through the um, webcam, which I didn't even know was on. Uh, apparently it has a voice activated or a voice uh, recording thing as well so I was getting sound out of both systems and it just yeah it sounded really strange plus of course I just wasn't very confident so I was trying to speak as poshly and as slowly as possible in order for the largest international audience to understand but in time I kind of realized actually my natural speaking voice was the better way of doing it because I can get more of the uh, stream of consciousness stuff coming through. So I spoke very briefly about what the big series was for this channel and it remains the biggest one. It is kind of the series that all other series try to emulate and that was of course Messenheim style for Prophecy of Pendor. Now I did have a bit of an advantage there because I'm one of the developers, I had some inside information and it was a really good platform to get this stuff going and to date nothing else can even match it. I think episode one has something like 11,000 views now which is really quite phenomenal um, and it remains the best. Now I have, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll play another short clip. Hello, my name is Mordred, and I'm very happy to bring you the first episode of this Let's Play Mountain Blade Warband with the Prophecy of Pendor 3.7 version. So let's jump in. As you can see, we have this new screen, loads of new graphics. It's all looking very, very sweet. Orders, particularly because they are infantry prim primarily, so obviously I'll be. A yes! Freddy! And here we go. Now butchering can commence. See, they get completely just stopped. Let's get to there. Yes! Ha <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am where I should be, and I have complete command. <laughs> Go away, Wolf Bode. Go away. Uh, right. No! Why'd you go that way? You idiot! Ah! Really? Um... I don't really want to stop this. I've really been enjoying it. Uh, but I'm going to have to stop it. So thank you very, very much for watching. I do mean that from the absolute bottom of my heart. Watching that last clip actually made me tear up a little bit. and I, I genuinely miss playing that. Um, it was hard to put down. Prophecy of Pendle really was the series that made this channel and yeah 
Hmm. Bannerlord. Come on, Bannerlord. I want to play you. So, yeah. Um, going from the most popular series to the most popular video, this one has been surprisingly successful and is actually the video worth the most money, revenue-wise, for this channel. And it's probably going to surprise you. Oh, it's Tyrant. I want to kill Tyrant. I really want to kill Tyrant. Come on, let's kill Tyrant. Yes, yes, come on. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Yes! No, that was someone else. There we go. Haha, <laughs> we got Tyrant. So that was the uh, executive producer, so it's always nice to kill one of the developers. <laughs> and we are now live. We're in a forest. We are. Let me just check volume. Check if the... Uh... Okay, so first things first, we need to get stuff going, don't we? Yeah. Should we choose somewhere to, to live? I don't know if being in the middle of this forest is the best location, really. As you can see from that clip, it was super grainy and I just could not fix it. Um, like, the when it very, very first couple of seconds, like, okay, this looks okay. And then it just got worse and worse and worse and worse. Especially when you saw, like, the trees and uh, the leaf blocks. It just looked terrible. So, Minecraft is something I might touch again in the future especially if there's any interest let me know in the comments um and it's a game i just really enjoy and there's a couple of mod packs and things out which i wouldn't mind giving a shot so we'll see and that might be something to do as a stream or something possibly um so yeah that was kind of unfortunate in how that one did although that was one of the earliest examples of a multiplayer game on this channel and multiplayer has kind of become something that we do very well i have a good group of friends who are really really good at games and uh, that kind of fits in with the whole theme of this channel it's not so much about messing around and screwing up it's it's about fairly serious gameplay with some lighter moments um so the first multiplayer game that we did on this channel is um actually was project zomboid uh i'm here i think and the front door is open i'm inside fighting a zombie <laughs> did you close the door yes oh yeah yeah i see you Oh, hi. Oh, you're not shut with bad asses. <laughs> <laughs> and this leads on quite nicely to the next clip, which was of Stellaris, which was by far the most ambitious uh, multiplayer game that we've actually done on the Mordred Viking channel. We had eight players. <laughs> it's still kind of unbelievable. Eight players. Uh, all of them, my friends. Uh, we had people from the Netherlands. We had people in America, Brits all over the place really <laughs> i'm still kind of grateful to the americans they were getting up at something like 1 a.m to start playing was that right we started at 9 no 4 a.m they started playing at 4 a.m because the kickoff was 9 a.m for the rest of the europeans so bussy had a bit of an easy time of it and um frozen getting up at 10 a.m lucky sods i don't like mornings i really really don't like mornings anyway so stellaris is kind of a, an oddball it was that big a game and it is something i would like to do again in the future maybe not with stellaris but certainly with hearts of iron or uh, eu4 we did actually have a couple of streamed games of stellaris that is something i might pick up again especially as the newest update has come out so yeah subscriber stellaris that probably came close to eight players i think we had five or six for that but the eight player stream and then that was chopped up and released as an actual series definitely the most ambitious multiplayer game that i've done i am mordred viking and i am joined here by english tom hello tin tuna hello Igel. hello bussy hello frozen hello chaos gemini hello and magic card maker hello and that if my math is correct is eight of us From three countries and two continents. Yeah, with me spanning all three in an amusing way. So I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. I don't have video clips for every single uh, episode that we've ever done, except online, obviously. Each one is about four gigabytes in size, and I only have about a terabyte of storage, so I can only store... Well, I tend to only store maybe about 30 episodes worth, so I have a tiny little backlog. What I've done for those clips is I've actually gone through into the archive of YouTube, downloaded them again, chopped them up, and then added them into this video. 
What I do have, however, is every single thumbnail I've ever made. That is the little bit of artwork that you see with every episode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through those in chronological order of when the series was released. I'll only do episode one. I'm not going to run through all of them. Otherwise, you'd be sitting here for a long, long time. Um, and you can kind of see the different series as they were released. You can go through them, uh, see what you may not have seen, see what you have seen. Hopefully there's some memories there. don't know. And at pertinent moments, I'll either stop the recording and do this talky thing, or I'll just talk over it. That's probably actually the better idea. I still can't quite believe just how bad I sounded in these videos. It's, it's really kind of embarrassing, though happily with the uh, Prophecy of Pendor series, things did get a lot better. We did a very, very short test episode here, just kind of showing the process of making the games. And this was kind of the first EU4 series, actually one of my favorite thumbnails, that one. Uh, XCOM 2, it was a good game, but it wasn't very well watched. So I, I did two different series and then let it go. Total War. Urgh! This is the one game which I think should have done amazingly well on this channel, and it never does. I've done four different Total War series, something like that, and it just doesn't do well. I don't... Urgh, it's frustrating. Project Zomboid was good. I went kind of through a, a horror survival uh, phase. And then, of course, Crowfall here, the game which pops up every now and then. It's not a solid series, but it, it keeps coming. Then Lord Novgorod the Great, when I developed my hatred of Merchant Republics. Likewise, the Genoa and Venice game, where the most prudent tactic was getting rid of them. Clash of the Titans! This is the second biggest series, and I'm sure a lot of you joined us with that. Seven Days to Die is a game that I do intend to return to one of these days. Um, it's, it's just really good, and it's a very good, solid multiplayer game. Went through a bit of a Stellaris phase here, going a bit more sci-fi. Of course, the uh, War of the Worlds. And then here, Dust Hull. This was the first um, interaction that I had with another developer. It was really interesting, and it's the first game I got for free. Uh, there's been a couple, like Cossacks, uh, since then, and now some of the uh, Paradox titles I get for free more recently, which is really cool. It's, it's definitely one of the perks of the job. Uh, Communist Co-op is actually the most successful multiplayer game outside of the uh, Titan series. Somewhat surprising. It's always been kind of an undervalued series, that one. Then uh, Viking Conquest, the follow-up to the Prophecy of Pendor series. Uh, Brexit Britain, when I was thoroughly ticked off by the results there. It's the most political series I've ever done. Yeah, definitely the most political. Anton Cordiel, that was good fun. Poland, for our freedom and yours. Uh, learned a lot about Eastern European history from that series. And then here we finally get into Rimworld, the first of several series. Deus Ex, the, the doomed one, the one that did terribly. Now, actually, Rimworld is an interesting one. I came so close, so close to dropping the usual suspects, I think around episode 20 or so. And then I didn't, and it's actually picked up massively, and it's now one of the most watched series on this channel. So I'm so happy I kept that one going. I probably kept Civilization going a bit longer than I perhaps should have as a result of that. I'm kind of hoping it picked up, but it never really did. Um, March, of the, uh, no, March of the Vikings came up a little uh, while ago there. That was something of a gamble as well. I didn't know if a really, really long-term series would do well, but thankfully it did. There you go. Usual suspects. I'm... Still astounded by how well that series has done. Cossacks 3, good game, very buggy. Uh, Imperium Romanum, that was a Vanilla Plus mod. That was the one of the few mods I've actually done. I, I like mods. Mods are like my background into the gaming. Mordra Hill, that was the first series I did with another YouTuber. And then here we have the Saga of the Titans. That was a gamble, because I think part of the reason that Clash of the Titans was so successful was because it was so competitive. So then when we switched things up and did a co-op game, I was actually genuinely worried about how that series would go. But thankfully, it's actually done very successfully indeed. So yeah, long may that one go. Uh, Clockwork Empires, good game. A little bit flawed in some areas. Civ 6, this game, like Total War, really. I, it's not done as well as I'd really hoped, quite frankly. And then finally, Pillars of Eternity, the one and only RPG. So having gone through all of those, I'm actually really interested to hear when did you guys join? Like, with which series interested you? Which series did you start joining with? Did you just try one or two videos in, uh, immediately and then start watching some actual full-length series? Do you bother? Do you just watch videos here and there? I'm actually really interested to hear precisely how you guys watch the, um, the content here. Uh, as a little aside, something that could be quite interesting, is there are currently 1,438 videos live on this uh, Mordred Viking channel, which is actually 
more videos than we have subscribers right now, which is kind of embarrassing when that happened. Although I am very happy to say that the subscriber numbers are actually climbing faster, so should take overtake in the relatively near future. Okay, so I think that that will do for now. It's been a really interesting uh, little journey, actually, going back through all of the old titles that we released, having a bit of a reflection, seeing what's there, and just kind of remembering the process that we've gone through. Things have certainly changed since the very earliest videos that we went through, both in quality, but also kind of the, the, the quality of the content. I just repeated quality. It got better. That's what I'm trying to say. It got better. Um, but it's not just the quality of the content that's improved, but also I again want to reiterate a great big thank you to everyone here who watches this channel. It is so good because you guys make it this good. Seriously, it's, it's all you guys. Thank you. Really, thank you. Um, and I think that all I really have left to say right now is, is to another great year. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.